up, guys? This is Solo and I'm giving my latest review who, who on Dragon Ball Super episode 91. This episode was one of the most unique because this is the big day. Everybody's getting ready. We're like so close. So, uh, what they're gonna do, you know? Anyway, let's get started, you know? Uh, we're just coming off the heels of that epic fight that Goku who just had with Gohan, you know? Even though Gohan, he went all out against his father, he still never went Super Saiyan, you know? Because he wants to follow a different path than his father. But he, if he hadn't won Super Saiyan, he would have probably been more than a match for his father, maybe even his equal, and maybe a lot of Super Saiyan Blue. But at this point, it's still what you call, what you call, called in the question, because the tournament hasn't started yet, and some people are going to believe that he's going to do that during the tournament, you know? He needs this, you know? Uh, and Gohan has definitely regained his warrior sense, you know, because all the training with Piccolo and having his Renago drag out fight with Goku, that was one of the best, you know. Well, that's one thing that got got to be, you know, the best, because his father Testy and that forgot at the Goku named him team leader, you know, that was quite a surprise. <laughs> I thought Goku would be the leader, but then again, Gohan is smarter than Goku in certain sense, you know. Uh, I mean, he did go to school and college, you know. <laughs> Goku never had that. You know, seeing how they, when he's getting ready, they're all preparing for the tournament, you know, things are getting, are looking up for them. However, they're trying to find out what to do next, like how to coordinate their attacks. And we also get to find out that Vegeta, he, he's, and that he's gone back to training. He's going to the hyperbolic time chamber. How last time he was in the hyperbolic time chamber, he destroyed it, you know. He, he went all the way back to the lookout, you know. How, how, how po Mr. Popo say if you destroyed it, you'll never be welcome back. But Vegeta just ignores it. Like, he's going to destroy it. That's true, you know. Never underestimate Vegeta in any any way, you know. Don't underestimate Vegeta at all. You know? Meanwhile, he's, uh, everybody's trying to find a way to see, he to try to help. How do you all kind of think about boosting Goku's power like he did with Gohan way back during the Maja Buar? But, you know, that's only takes, that only takes like 25 hours and they have less than 5 hours left for... Four hours and ten minutes, I think. Uh, everyone's trying to get ready. Seeing the situation on his head, and you know they call it false hope. You know, get him joking. So he decides to train with Reese in, inside the space pod. You know, you know the spaceship. You know that Vegeta's always been training in. You know, he decides to train inside the ship. Hey, so he's gonna try to train. So he's gonna train in, in a gravity room. You know, uh, which is pretty nice. All right, so he's going to do some personal training with Whis, even going Super Saiyan Blue. That's good for Goku. Everybody else is trying to do, trying to pass the time to the tournament. How we get to see Zeno-sama you know, playing with himself? You know, Zeno-sama from the future playing with Zeno-sama of the past. As right, so, you know, how they play this weird rock, paper, scissor game. They just hit each other on the head with a mallet while one of them is holding a construction element. And it's pretty weird. They even find it boring. However, the tournament, you know... It's getting ready to start soon. They want to start now. And they find the news that not everybody is getting ready for the tournament. I mean, super, I mean, Goku's all set. And with his team, but everybody else has not done it. Like, for example, the Trio T Danger of Universe 9. You know, the, the Supreme Kai that is furious. He, 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 they tried to gather some warriors. But when one got out, the, got, the word, people started riding on a planet. So he just destroyed it. And, sorry about that. I'm, sorry about that. Knocked the computer off for a second every people start figuring out he just destroyed the planet saying it's no good they have to move on they still have found the warriors of universe 9 has not found any warriors there's you know to, to protect it only the trio d danger next is also uh also universe 6 how hit hey hey went to find frost like finding frost you know oh uh, this was just a rumor that freezer was going to come back or frost or I remember, but it's true. Frost is coming back. Apparently, Hip is offering him a spot uh, on the team because of Champa, and he even fought against Frost because Frost thought he was gonna kill him. You know, he would try to use the same dirty trick using the needles, you know, poison and all that stuff. Uh, Frost, but however, you know, he is not here to kill him. He's just to recruit him, and he's saying that he's gotten better, and even though because his life has been on the run. Remember, Frost was revealed as a con artist. And so, you know, was fighting on the side of justice, but he was just another Frieza wannabe. He he, he conquered Rose so he can save them. He was just manipulating people, you know. You know, and in the end, he got his ass kicked by Vegeta and and hit, you know. Uh, and, and Vegeta took great satisfaction in it too, you know. That is something, you know. The fact that he's at, had the hit said he's gotten better. 
and because he's was said he was fighting him seriously for a second. That's gotta be something, right? I mean, and now that he has nothing, he could probably work his way up from scratch like how Frieza did. So, are we gonna see Golden Fr Frieza form Frost? That's something I, something interesting to see. But I, I pretty, I'm, I'm pretty much holding my breath until we get more down, more into the story. You know, As the situation is definitely on the seas. It's also uh, Ramu's Universe Ten. You know. Out of doing some weird silly poses, you know, posting videos and all that stuff. Ramus of Universe 10. Like I said in my last video, that guy is not what you call a thinker, you know. Hey, it's defi he's definitely all about brawn, you know. Oh, not about brains. Hey, so everybody's getting ready. Hey, he's trying to do their best. We even get to see the Pride Troopers of Universe, uh, or, you know, set Universe 11. Remember, Tompo, you know, and his Pride Troopers, they're still wondering about the tournament. Because there's a lot more at stake that here. Yeah, because there's a lot more at stake, you know. Uh, I think he's still wondering of how he's going to deal with Goku, because he wasn't able to beat Goku, and there's still Jiren, and who is the strongest of the Pride Troopers, you know. You know, I'll see how he handles this situation. I can't wait to see, you know. However, there's also other remarkable people. Like, for example, Apple, there's, apparently in Universe 2, there was this, you know, uh, this green-haired looking girl in a pink dress, you know, how she does a total Sailor Moon transformation. Her skin turns blue, she gets into this green leotard, and she gets all fat and stuff, and she just beats the hell out of these guys, and saying that she's going to compete in the tournament. I mean, these two guys were harassing her, saying that there was no place for her, and I mean, she was a total badass. She walked the floor with them, just their entity, but it's pretty funny. One of the things that Kira Takayama has... In all the Dragon Ball Z, you know, he has a habit of making fat characters, you know, stronger than they appear, you know. Oh, like, he did it with Majin Buu, and now he's doing it with this, you know, character. And how they did the transformation, the Sailor Moonlight transformation for for, for for this new character from Universe 2, you know. And just to speak the question, what they're gonna do, what they're going to do? Because this is definitely a, a, a win or lose situation. They win, they survive, and they lose, they lose everything. Because the whole universe... We'll get a race, you know, in the end, you know. Mm. And seeing these new mysterious characters. Remember, we haven't seen all the rosters yet. Like, yeah, and this is just has them. There's still the other universes. What the hell are they going to do? There's that universe with the rat, uh, the one, and the robot guy, and it's still a lot of things. I'm sorry I'm not, not calling a lot of them by their names. It's just that, you know, remember, I'm not, remember, I'm trying to do my best to focus here. Everybody's trying to wonder what they do. Who like, Vegeta... It's in the lookout. Goku's fighting Whis in the in haste in the ship. You know how when how when Whis you know gate kind of grabbed him from behind and reminded him of Gita. He bit himself open, and Whis says, "You have no class." <laughs> that is true. He definitely has no class. You know, no. Uh, but Zeno Simon wants the tournament to start. You know, tournament to start. But you know, but he's still trying to keep his promise to Goku, and the Grand Priest reminds him of that. You know, it's definitely a big situation, you know. Uh, so seeing this, seeing how everything's going to go, you know, it's definitely adding to the hype, you know. Because they are so close to what's going to happen, you know. The situation is definitely on its knees. Things start to look good, like everybody's getting ready. They've all had their training. They've all got ready to make their moves. However, there's a problem. How how, how Mr. Satan, you know, Hercule calls Bulma saying, to her about the tournament of power, they said Boo can't compete. I'm like, why can't he compete? Apparently, Boo fell asleep, you know, and he said when he gets to sleep like that, he won't wake up for like two months. And you know, it happened before, like, for like in the in, in, in way back in, during the universe six or the universe seven arc, a uh, Boo fell asleep you know, during the test. As you know, so he was able he in the manga they made him like too stupid, it's like he was. Hey, he was too stupid to pass the writing test, so... <laughs> uh, they, they changed that from the, in the anime, you know? He was too stupid. And too, from stupid to sleepy. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. And we just got Skinny Boo. Uh, and he's way strong. He's probably way stronger than he was before. <laughs> before. Now to find out that he's fallen asleep, who the hell are they going to get to replace him? Oh, this is going to be a big problem, you know? Um, um, even Beerus is, like, furious, saying... you. And can't allow us take ask Goku to take it with him, but he goes off, leaves Beerus behind, you know. It leads to how they're gonna handle this situation. They got over four they got four hours left and and they finally find a way to handle this situation now. And this and that's just leaving and that's just and that's how the episode ends, without Goku trying to go find out 
or what happened to my debut, how to wake him up, and how, who's going to compete or be his replacement in the tournament, you know? This just leads to even more problems. Like, for example, in the preview, we get to see that everybody's mad at Goku. I'm wondering what's going on, you know? Uh, if I were to guess, is if they found out that the ter about the tournament of power and what it what it entails, like for example, this is all Goku's fault for having the tournament, for encouraging Genosama uh, to you know have the tournament in the first place. The win and the universe who wins gets to live, and the other one gets to race. He put the entire multiverse at risk, and he lied to his friends about it, saying if they compete, they'll win ten million zenny. So it's gonna be like this is all your fault. You uh, you put everybody. Rich, you went too far this time, so he's probably going to get the blame. And, and, and to be honest, it, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> you know? No, the only one who knows Tooth are Goku, Whis, Ace Beerus, the Kais, uh, I, uh, you know, Dende, I think, uh, and Piccolo, and Gohan. So only like a handful. The, the others don't know. You know? Uh, uh, so they got to find a way to work together to deal with this, you know? Because if they don't get if they get if they don't get over their anger now and work together as a proper team, they might not be a universe left to left the same. Also, I neglected to say this in the middle of it. How Master Roshi like went to go went to see Yancha to Bob Puar to try to get over his pervertiness. You know, we saw his pervertiness in like two episodes ago. You know, oh, oh and he still and he's still like perverted the way he made. Poir dressed as a hot girl, you know, uh, you know, just so he could try to get over it. it that's never over. Yeah, I mean, the last, I mean, we saw Master Roshi in his most perverted the last time. He, he, this guy just never gives up, you know. And that just made Roshi Roshi, you know. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Comment, comment, right, subscribe down below. Tell me if you like this episode or not, or the video. This is Solomon Ass giving my last review on Dragon Ball Super Episode 91. See you guys next time. I'm out. Bye. Goku's gonna get it. Probably gonna get an earful from Bowman. I bet you $20. Who wants to take me up?